to talk about relationships. Um, I want to talk about how we can establish better, solid, more functional relationships. A lot of times we want to talk about relationships that have, you know, great chemistry, um, very compatible. We talk about all of those things, but a lot of times we don't talk about how we can restore relationships when things aren't going well. So I think the most important part we need to talk about is when your lover does something that disappoints you, hurts you, makes you angry, a lot of times we don't allow ourselves time to um, forgive those things that happen, be it if it's a disappointment, a hurt, or um, something that caused you a, a huge amount of pain. A lot of times we don't think about how we can restore those relationships because we're angry all the time, we're so upset. Or we elongate the anger to the point where the relationship is so just stale, so unhappy, so disconnected because we're spending a lot of time angry about things that happen from way back. Sometimes we carry pain from, man, years. Sometimes we carry pain from months. Um, we can be angry about something that happened five, six years ago, and we don't even realize that in that time frame that we are angry and staying rooted in that anger, that we're not allowing ourselves to truly be present in the relationship. We're now focused on, remember what you did, okay? And then not to mention, we'll say we forgive something, right? We'll say, okay, I forgive you, I'm over it, I'm not upset anymore, and that's all well and fine, but are we really... <laughs> Because let something happen to the point where it's something that's similar or has some type of, I don't know, similarity of some sort that matches the pain that your lover had from the past that happened to you. And you're still frustrated, you're still angry, you're still mad about it. Well, here's the thing. A lot of times when we hold on to anger, we hold on to pain and, and anguish and, and disappointment, we don't any longer create a harmony within the relationship. We're constantly furious, we're constantly upset, we're constantly mad, and we feel as though we just cannot um, stand each other anymore. And the relationship gets to the point where it's toxic, and it gets to the point where we cannot even stomach the presence of each other. So I want to talk about why it's so important to remove those moments and allow those moments to pass. What we must do, <laughs> this is very important, we cannot constantly count the wrongs and keep stacking them up and allowing those wrongs that happened in the past to, to basically not stay rooted in the relationship. When you're angry, when you're upset, when you're disappointed in your lover, it's very important that you don't hold on to that anger forever in a lifetime. I've had clients where Man, it's been months they're not speaking. They're not sleeping in the same bed together. And I tell couples all the time, if you stay out of the bedroom or you stay sleeping back to back to each other, you're going to find yourself distanced the more you allow the anger and the upset to, to basically live in that relationship. So it's important that we say, okay, look, you did this or you did that, Let's talk about why we were upset. Let's talk about why we were disappointed. And let's talk about why we were angry or, or mad, right? Because it's important that we talk about it so we can have the uncomfortable conversations with each other. When we do these kind of things, it actually helps to replenish the relationship. It gets out on the table. This was my upset. This was my anger. This was my hurt. Let's deal with it. Let's talk about it. Let's conversate. Let's really bring up why this was in a misunderstanding for that matter. And once you do that, I tell you what, once you do that, you'll start to see, wow, okay, we've had the uncomfortable conversation. We talked about what was difficult about it. And now because we've had that conversation, now we can move past it. A lot of people can't move past because they're still rooted and angry about something that happened in the past. So I just wanted to give you guys this nugget. It's very important and imperative that we do not count the wrongs. We do not stay rooted in what someone's done. And that is, and 
it includes your lover. When you're in a relationship, you find yourself frustrated and, and, and angry and disappointed in them. That's going to happen. That's life. We're not always going to get along. We're not always going to be on the same page. We're not always going to understand each other. There's going to be misunderstandings. It's just what it is. It's life. But when you sit back and you say, listen, we've had moments that we didn't agree, that we didn't see eye to eye. We had misunderstandings, but I'm not going to hold on to it with a death grip. I'm not going to hold on to those moments of anger like there's no tomorrow. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it pass. And I am going to remove myself and you, in that matter, in my heart and mind, from this violation or this sadness or disappointment so we can move forward and be in a better relationship. I hope this helps somebody. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is Carly Nicole Wisdom Channel. This channel is built to make sure that we help restore relationships, to help to improve intimacy, and to make sure that we have just a better, healthy life. That's what I'm here to do. I'm Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best care. Have a great day, guys.